All right, guys, look, uh, you guys probably know this. There is one, one key rule when you're a lumberjack, which is what's the number one rule? Uh, make, make a cut? Make a cut. Yeah. I make mean, that's cuts. just it. It's make a cut. Whatever you're doing, make a right. cut. All right, okay. so these guys, they cut down the tree here, and then when you're pulling this thing did, down, did they make you're a, a lumberjack, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, here comes the tree. Make a cut. Oh. <laughs> make a cut. <laughs> look, you got to make a cut. That's what I'm saying. Whatever you're doing, make a cut. Oh. Whether it's the tree or whether when you pull it, just make a cut. <laughs> it's like wow. right in the perfect path My any, goodness. of that tree falling. A any cut's a good cut. Yeah. At this point, mm -hmm. you gotta I, make a cut. I'm not asking for Adrian Peterson here. Just make a cut. <laughs> Just make a cut. I mean, get it done. Oh. Oh. All right. By the way, we had some Virga again today. We're we're all over the Virga. Check this out. Time lapse from the station. You can see some of it here. Just kind of the tops of some of the clouds in there. Actually, some of that Virga's right up there. It's rain evaporating before it hits the ground. Some pretty cool shots of the time lapse over the volcanoes off in the distance. You can see the Virga out there as well. So impressive stuff. We don't have a great deal of moisture in place, so we're not able to really crank up the showers as far as getting rain that hits the ground, but we're getting some stuff going here at least a little bit, and we'll talk about what this next storm means in just a moment. 69 degrees in the metro, south-southeast winds at 3 miles an hour, temperatures 40s and 50s off to the north, 60s out to the east, and then down to the south, temperatures for the most part in the 60s. Looking at our next storm system, it's over California, spreading some showers right now. As you can tell, it's not incredibly impressive for the amount of moisture that it's packing at this point, but that moisture will, in general, head in our direction. So throughout the area tomorrow, we'll grab a cold front across the northeast. This will be our best chance over the northern mountains and northeast to get showers going. Then we start to pull western portions of the state into the mix here for showers on Thursday, and then the storm system itself comes through on Friday. So let's get to that storm report right now. The storm is spinning over California. Timing is Friday through Sunday because this thing's going to come through in a couple of different pieces. So we decided to go all the way out to Sunday with that second piece. Scattered valley rain will be a possibility. Some light mountain snow in the highest reaches of the northern mountains and some metro spot showers. But the bus potential is pretty high on this storm at 70%. So why? Well, let's talk about what we're expecting with this. Number one, one thing I don't think we're going to end up with a high bus potential on is the wind. We are going to see the wind start to increase, especially Thursday into Friday, and we could see gusts up to 40 miles an hour. So be prepared for that. The possibility of blowing dust will be there too. Now, the two things we don't like about this particular storm number one, there's no real indication it's going to draw a great deal of moisture, whether that moisture comes from the Pacific or from the Gulf. This thing just doesn't look like in any of the models that it has a great moisture tap. But we're going to wait and see here, see if we can get something going with that. But at this point, that's not all that promising. And number two, when it comes through, it's going to come through in a few different pieces. And that's not great either. So when you start to weaken the storm out, kind of break it apart in a couple pieces, you never end up with the kind of result you'd like, especially when you've got moisture that's a little marginal and you break it into a few pieces. Overall, that's not a great prescription for a good looking storm. So let's wait and see what happens here. We may well move that bus potential down. If we can draw a little more moisture into the mix, it could get more promising. One of the areas we're going to watch up around Durango Saturday into Sunday for the chance at showers. Farmington best shot late Friday into Saturday across the southwest. Lots of sunshine, warm afternoon for tomorrow, and then we'll go partly cloudy skies by Thursday with temperatures in the mid-70s. Over to the southeast, mostly sunny and warm here, and temperatures will finally cool down by about Friday. Meanwhile, up to the northeast, partly sunny and warm for tomorrow. We will see the chance of showers. Remember, that's that cold front draping across the northeast. That will be the focusing points for some showers, and some of those could creep into the northern mountains, especially along the east slopes, and then a renewed chance of showers later in the work week and into the weekend. East mountains, plenty of sunshine on the way for tomorrow, but check out. Say late Friday, some more clouds and the possibility of showers on Sunday. And in the Rio Rancho area, temperatures for the most part going to be in the 70s tomorrow, 78 downtown and 74 in the foothills. Your extended forecast for the metro area for now, we're going increasing clouds Friday and Sunday. If we can get a little more moisture going, we may add some showers, but at this point, not looking likely. Okay. Mm, okay. Thank you, Mark.